Now see here in this question, there is a graph between f and s along x axis I have taken displacement s and along y axis I have taken force f. There is a variable force whose magnitude is changing. So, from a to k magnitude remains constant that is 10, k to l magnitude of force changes 10 to 15 Newton that we can take in Newton and then again reduces to 0 and then the direction of this force is also changing that is minus 15 and the displacement is here 5. So, now you have to calculate total work done from A to B. So, the total work done is equal to area under the F s curve. It means all these areas we have to calculate whatever are here. So, if you are calculating the work done, so we can write work A to B is equal to work done from 1 to 2 plus work done 2 to 3 plus work done 3 to 4 plus that is work done 4 to 5. Here work done 1 to 2 this is the area of the rectangle. Here we can take this is 1 meter and this is the 10. So, area is 10 into 1 plus here 2 to 3 this is a trapezium these are the two parallel side 10 and 15. So, we can write here 10 plus 15 into height, height is 1 divided by 2 plus this is a triangle half into 15 into 1 plus see here this is here the force is negative. So, we can write again this is a triangle. So, half into minus 15 into 1. Now, we can just solve it this is 10 plus 12.5 plus and that is here plus it is here 7.5 minus 7.5 cancelled and you will be getting 22.5 joule. So, this is the work done by the variable force as we have discussed this concept how to calculate the work done by the variable force and I have used the same concept main thing is here the work done by the variable force is equal to area under force displacement curve.